This is a hands-on video with the new Google Chrome beta for Android. It requires you have ice cream sandwich, so I'm testing it here with the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, like any other browser, there's nothing particularly surprising there. One of the things we do rather like is this new implementation of uh, the tabs. So rather than having to sort of look at a very small thumbnail, you'll see here that you get much larger previews of the pages. Uh, you can also scroll through these and adjust the size, so if you're looking for something specific, it's relatively easy to find. It's also nice that in the landscape mode, it adapts, uh, giving you a sort of almost a cover flow kind of effect, uh, but it's really very easy to see all the pages you've got open. Behind Google's new three dots icon, there are all the other menu options. As you can see, you've got incognito here as well, which means that you can browse stuff without your history being tracked. Uh, users of desktop Google Chrome will be more than familiar with this and its many and varied uses. One of the things we have noticed about this is that sometimes video embedded on pages doesn't work as well as we'd hoped. Uh, now this was apparent when we uh, looked at a pocket lint story that has a YouTube video embedded. And on other sites we haven't had so much of a problem but it seems that uh, the YouTube implementation doesn't quite work as well as we'd hoped. Uh, we weren't ever able to get the video to go full screen using this, uh, this browser. Uh, but it does play, and, but you can see it does add a little performance stutter there. That's no longer scrolling quite as well as it should whilst it's loading that YouTube video in down there. This is beta software though, so these little, uh, these little problems and challenges are always inevitable. And there you go. Video playing. So when you generate a new tab, you've got um, a bunch of viewing options down the bottom here. Now, this is your most commonly used Windows. You can see there that there's no big surprises. It works in the same way as the desktop client. The star icon represents your bookmarks, um, and obviously you can access your desktop bookmarks here, which is rather good. Uh, you can see that everything there I've got on my desktop computer, I can easily access here. Then here we've got uh, additional tabs that are open on our desktop computer, which is incredibly useful. Uh, it means that we can quite easily go to any of the um, any of the things we've got open. Which means that if you start reading something before you leave for work, when you're on the train on the way in, you could just pick it up as if you'd never left your desktop. It's also worth noting that uh, with the desktop client sync, you can sync more than one computer. We've only got one listed here, but if we were to turn our laptop on. Uh, that would appear as well and we'd be able to browse uh, that for any tabs it has open.